Hello from the Daily Dad. I am currently in Las Vegas, staying at the Mandalay Bay, and it's Sunday. That means that I get to go to my favorite Sunday brunch spot in all of Vegas, and that means that you get to come along for the ride, too. So come join me for Sunday brunch at the Border Grill at the Mandalay Bay today on The Daily Dad. Currently, I'm walking from the pool complex over to the restaurant, and I want to say that if you are staying at this resort over the weekend, this is the absolute best way to kick off your Sunday morning. The pool opens at 8.30 a.m., take 90 minutes or so to enjoy the lazy river, the wave pool, and maybe sometime in a hot tub, and then you can head over to the restaurant when it opens at 10 a.m. It's about a five minute walk around the perimeter of the pool complex and then we wind up at the poolside entrance to the restaurant. You can also access the restaurant through the main entrance which is located after restaurant row and after the convention center but before you reach the shark reef. Luckily, I snagged a table for myself this morning, which is on the terrace overlooking the pool complex, but there is a decent amount of dining tables inside. Also, sometimes service is provided by the pool side, although it wasn't today, probably because it was about 100 degrees at this time and projected to get even hotter. Well, after 90 minutes at the pool, I am hungry. Now, let's scan through the menu to see what we have. Brunch is $44.99 per person. There is no special pricing for kids or seniors. It is all you can eat. However, beverages are purchased separately. The menu features 16 excellent looking choices. Uh, because I don't want to waste food, I'm ultimately going to order nine of the dishes for this review. Hey, just some general buffet advice. You'll get more bang for your buck if you stick with proteins and fiber and forgo starch and bread as much as possible. I mean, $45 just seems like a lot for a half dozen pancakes after all, wouldn't you agree? So that's why I'm going to start off with this fiber heavy treat. It is the pear chia parfait. Oh man, fiber and antioxidants never tasted this good and I could easily eat three of these. Speaking of three, the server will encourage you to get three dishes at a time. So in addition to this parfait, I also ordered the deviled egg, which I like to order when I can find them, and this one was certainly very good. I also went for the popular steak and eggs dish. I really liked the tenderness of the steak and the flavorful rub that was applied. And I'm glad that they didn't flood my plate with potatoes because, again, we want to avoid filling our tummy with starch. Anyway, we've gotten three home run dishes so far and the brunch is just getting started. Moving on to the next three dishes, we have this bite-sized salmon avocado toast. Oh, very enjoyable. Also, this very refreshing and citrusy bite-sized morsel. Uh, I suggest that you order two of these at a time. And then I went off the menu slightly when I ordered the barbacoa benedict with just the brisket and the corn muffin. Uh, both were amazing. Actually, they were pretty accommodating on these modified orders. I really liked the brisket and I asked if I could order two more portions of brisket only minus everything else and they were happy to prepare that for me. I was pretty full and pretty happy at this point. I sampled a lot of great dishes, so I wanted to start winding down by ending the brunch on a sweet note. I ordered the horchata French toast, and this is not as sweet as it looks, but it is more delicious than it looks. Finally, it's these made in heaven moist chocolate munchkins with raspberry sauce. Oh, this is as sweet as it looks, but I'm telling you, this is the perfect ending when you're thinking to yourself, hmm, what is the very last dish to order? This is it. No argument, period. I can definitely say that this is the best all-you-can-eat weekend brunch option south of the Aria. 
for those staying near Midstrip, you do have the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars and the Wicked Spoon Buffet at the Cosmopolitan. Further north, you have the Brunch Buffet at the Wynn, and all are about $40 to $50 for the entry price. So this is definitely comparable, but Border Grill is the clear winner when we're talking about the southern part of the strip. Also, eating on the terrace or by the poolside bar really amps up the dining experience. Service is attentive, and everything here was delicious. And it's the only all-you-can-eat where they bring the food to you rather than you taking a chance with a crowded buffet where people keep getting in your way and where the food may have been sitting there for 30 minutes. So go for a swim, come over to the Border Grill, and then catch a game with your hometown aces. The Border Grill for weekend brunch. Bring your appetite and your high expectations and both will be satisfied. As brunch spots go, I'm giving this experience four stars out of four. Hey, this is The Daily Dad reminding you to try new things and to be happy.